the same way that that the Jews people are telling me that's not true what you believe, I could say to you, but I mean, I believe that, I, I believe my story, you believe your story, and yeah. they believe their story, right? So I think that they are all equal respectful. But they can't, they can't all be true. So when you say, when you say respect, what do you mean? So for example, again, let's take Jesus as an example. If the Jews say that Jesus is not a son of God, not even a Messiah, not a Christ. The Christians say that he is God, he's son of God, and he's a Messiah. The Muslims say he's the Messiah, but not son of God. Yeah. All three of them have different views. Yeah. How can you say that they, they are all true? It'll be a contradiction if you said they are all true. I'm not saying that they are all true. I'm saying that they can all link together. Oh yeah, of and course. And then when we will be dead, we, we will meet a God, and I will tell him, Hi, Father God. We will tell him, Hi, Father Allah. We For us, Jesus is not Allah. Yeah, no, I'm about, like, God but, but the example I gave you was that of Jesus. So yeah, if know. all three religions have completely different and contradictory views, how can you say that God is going to accept them all? God is only going to accept one of them, which is the truth. The, the God that I believe in, I mean, the, the God that I have studied, is, is, I mean, he embraces all of, all of us, not only the ones who believe in him. So, I mean, I know for So you're not really a Catholic then? I think I am, and I'm... You're a Catholic I'm, maybe by uh, culture, by tradition. But in belief, you're not a Catholic. Because the Catholics do not consider people who reject Jesus as believers. I'm like the Jews. Saying, I'm, not, I'm not defining them believers. I'm saying that there is a place in heaven also for them. For disbelievers. So what is the point of being a believer if everybody ends up in paradise? What, what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that either you follow God's law or you follow your own whims and desires. From this discussion, it seems like you want to follow your desires rather than God's law. Okay. See what I mean? Yeah. For example, I saw that uh, rainbow thing on your... I'm assuming you support the LGBT. Yes. yes. What do you think the church thinks about them? I think that the church... Does... No, no, I'm not saying what you should think. I'm asking what do they think? Think that they think that they are sons of God really? and that they are loved. I mean, I have friends who are Catholics and are homosexual. What about yeah, but them? you're you're looking again from a from a secular point of view, not from a religious point of view. See what I mean? Yeah, so when you start, when you keep saying, "I look, I got Catholic friends and they agree with LGBT," then you're saying that they are also following a secular, liberal point of view rather than from a theology. Theological yeah, point of view. See what majority, I mean? The majority of my Catholic friends, so yeah, are I mean, liberals. I'm They're liberals. Yeah. Speaking here with you, in front of all these uh, yeah. cell phones, not as a, uh, not as a theologist. No matter who is right or wrong in this particular conversation, when you will die and I will die, we will all be in heaven, and that's the only thing. That's not your decision. I'm sorry. Okay. That, For you. That I prefer to believe in a God that is telling me that you and me will be in heaven. No, but there's no such God. What you made up, you're not a God. What you're saying is based on your understanding, but not on any scripture. So when you say, I want to believe in such a God, then you're looking for an utopia which doesn't exist. Okay. For example, in the Old Testament, you know, I asked you about the rainbow thing on your hand because you support the LGBT. What was the punishment of the, of the Sodom and the Gomorrah? Yes. They were rain, brimstones and fire. And they were all killed by God. Do you think that was wrong? You see, every time you're, you're calling God wrong and then you expect to go to heaven. Do you not see the, the problem there? It is like, it is like you going to a, an exam and you write all the wrong answers and you expect to pass. You're looking for the impossible. You either accept God fully and that is the reason. You know the meaning of Islam? is submission to the will of God. And this is also what Jesus says in the Bible. He says, you should, not all those who say, Lord, Lord, will go to the heaven, will go to, will, will see the kingdom of God, but only those who do the will of the Father. Not the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Only one person. The will of the Father. The God of Jesus. The one that Jesus prayed to and he worshipped. And that's the reason I'm saying, unless and until you submit to the will of God, then you're just following your whims and desires. You're making yourself God, in a way. 
And that is one of the biggest things. See what I mean?